How's it going, everybody? My name is Sean. I'm uh, born and raised to Hawaiian down in Hawaiian beaches on the big island of Hawaii. And I'm here today just to uh, share a story. You know, I want to continue with this movement, be the eight of the weight truth seeker, asking questions from these people with power that are abusing their constituents. Some proof I have of that I'd like to share today uh, in which I... So I've been calling Congressman Kai Kahele for the past few months. Uh, actually, yeah, maybe a year or so. Um, I will call asking questions. Uh, you know, the, the large event was when Joe Biden a few a month or two ago was his hands raised with the blood red background, declaring more than half our country, half the country, um, enemies of democracy, the ultra magas and all that. You know, those statements he made on that very public stage that the world was watching. I asked Kai Kahele, Kai Kahele's office, do you condone or condemn the statements made by Joe Biden on that stage. They bounced me around for two weeks. They said, I can't give you an answer. Give us your number, we'll call you back. So I would. They never called back. For two weeks, I called nearly every day. There was a guy in there named Chad. He promised me, he promised me he would get me the answer. For three days, he, he promised me and he was, I said, sir, you've been lying to me three days, give me an answer. The fourth day comes, he puts Aubrey, his supervisor, on the phone, and she says, and I asked her, I said, hey, I must know. And Chad told me, but you guys have been lying the whole time, Chad told me he would have an answer. And my question is, do you condone or condemn the statements in which Joe Biden called half his constituents enemy of democracy? The response was, no comment. And I said, I could go out on the street and there'd be some maniac that hears Joe Biden's words and he comes to attack me. And the only, just because I may seem a little different than his political ideology. And the only answer you have is no comment. Yep, very, very like audacity. Just say, yeah, no comment. Like I was stupider than them. So, you know, this, I, I call relentlessly. I will... I never attack them personally, but I do say some very harsh things. That's a little, maybe a little hard for them to stomach because we're starting to see through the facade. So I ask real questions, not just questions that are politically correct. They then tell me to treat them with aloha. That, hey, they, they hang up on me many times, you know, uh, going into till today, it's gotten to this point. But they'll pick up the phone and just have it sit there and just will say nothing for one time. I think I, it was about 20 minutes. I just was doing something. I was like, I'm going to see how long they do this. And they say nothing for 20 minutes just so I can't call back. I call back. They'll just instantly hang, call and hang up. So it's come to this point where today, this morning, I've uh, tried to call again. And I called initially on the phone I'm recording with. And then it was like something weird happened. I'll show you. So I went to my backup phone. I was like, you know what, let me try my other number and see if this number is also broken. And I will show you what Congressman Kai Kahele's office has done to his taxpaying constituent. They see they have taken my number and uh, blocked it. You shall see. So here I call his number. Here it is. I'll call this guy right here. Congressman Kai Kahele. It's... Uh, I'm calling from my number. Here we go. Welcome to Verizon Wireless. Your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please check the number and dial again. Announce. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah I'll Verizon. check it. Why did it not go through? Oh, because I got to go back to like high school days. What happens if I block my number? Because maybe they blocked my number. So what if I block my incoming number so they don't know what number's coming in? So what did I do? I go back to the star 67 days to block my incoming number. Oh, and let's see what happens. Mind you, it is after hours. This is Congressman Kai Kahele. Thank you for taking the time to call my Washington, D.C. office. You have either called my office after hours or my staff is currently assisting other constituents at this time. So there's clear proof. I block my numbers and I'm able to get through to my congressman. So I've never made any threatening comments. Um, and sometimes I, my rhetoric gets 
I just will match the darkness of Joe Biden. I have never gone beyond. Or other Democrats that are out there screaming very dangerous things. So I'll spew that same rhetoric with them. And when they have questions, I will play the recording for them, showing Democrats speaking it. And they don't like hearing that stuff. And when I ask them, what's your response to this? I get the silent treatment until I hang up. They'll stay there for 10 minutes after I play a recording just in silence and not give me an answer. And then I'll fall back on their democratic rhetoric of silence is violence, silence is violence. And I still get nothing. So it's come to the point where our congressman has blocked a tax paying constituent. This is the level of tyranny we are at in Hawaii in 2022. So I ask that we the people come together and stand up. And one way is... My brother Jonathan Keneally, District 6 over in Kona on the big island of Hawaii. He's a warrior. He'll fight for us. And he also is an 808 truth seeker. And I will hit the ground for him when he is in his position to find out the truth that we the people have. All right? See you guys later. Have a good one.